what's up everyone to five dude back on your screen now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 333 so starting off today we have a man who had to go to court to prove he is not the biological father of this woman not my daughter she's not mine nothing like me nothing like me she's not my daughter period she's not mine when he don't get what he want i'm not his daughter he just been a big absence in my life um her mom, me and her, we got to dating. Wasn't no relationship going on. It was just a hit and quit thing. My mother always told me that he was my father. She had no denial of him not being a father. She hasn't messed with nobody else. She was a neighborhood bro. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Why, let's, let's, excuse me. Let's excuse. be respectful. Excuse, okay, excuse, you know who her father is? Could you get this to her, please? This is, you look at her and you tell me. This is me. a photo of a man? Yes. It's her father. You know why I say that? Because that's for the simple fact, because I caught him and her mom having that is my great great uncle i pulled up in the yard family house the door was cracked it was open i walk in the bed is sitting right there right in front of the door it's a small apartment smack it they getting it they getting it next thing i know he hear the door open he turn around and look and see me she raised her head up all i did was look and shook my head and walked out your mother maintained without a doubt that mr lewis was your biological father yes sir. she never told you any different no you are not the father. Oh, Bam. God. Tied out. That's her father right there. Oh, That's God. him right there. Oh, my God. Thank you. What's your goal here tonight? Well, what is your well, mission? I've been the most amazing husband for the last 20 years, right. and the bitch is divorcing me, like, and, and she's not doing it nice. She's doing it in the worst possible way a person could ever divorce somebody. For the first time in 20 years, I hope to find the cleanest, shaved, I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> now, this is the exact reason why I personally will never get married. Imagine everything you have worked for your entire life getting taken away in a matter of seconds. Could not be me. So Deepa, are we sending our sons out into the world to go be with women that already have children? Would you, so would you suggest that to your child? I wouldn't suggest it, but if it happened, I'm not going to ostracize him. No, I didn't him. ask that. I asked, would you suggest it? As a mother, and you, with you, him, as a father, no, I'm are not you suggesting it. to your son to go be with a woman that already has a kid? Okay, the answer is no. Now what? Moving on, we have a man who got revenge on his wife after finding out his three children are not his. America man found he wasn't the father of his three sons. And how he took violent revenge on his wife will shock you. Richard was a 55-year-old businessman. He was married to a woman named Kate, and Kate was his employee. The couple had three sons, and Richard and Kate thought they would live out their lives together. But after a few years, the couple began to fall apart, and they finally divorced. Kate received $5 million, and Richard continued to pay child support for his three sons. But soon after, Richard went to his doctor for a checkup. And when he got the results of his tests, it turned out that he had cystic fibrosis. Richard asked the doctor directly if it was possible that he had passed the disease on to his three sons. But the doctor told him he had nothing to worry about as he had been sterile since birth. So he hadn't been able to have a child. Richard told the doctor he was wrong because he already had three boys. And that's when he realized that the boys didn't look at all like him and that Kate must have been lying to him. Then what Richard did to his cheating ex-wife in revenge is so savage it'll shock you. Richard decided to tell his eldest son who immediately asked his mother about it. And that's when Kate confessed to Richard and his son that while they were together, Kate had had an affair. Richard then sued Kate for $400,000. And now he continued to see his children as if nothing had happened. Moving on, we have a woman who wanted to surprise her boyfriend, and let's just say it did not really go the way she wanted it to. Hey, babe. Hey. You have five to your friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? What? You get seafood without me? What are you talking about? Don't be lying and tell me you didn't get seafood without me. I know you're not getting no seafood out. Sean, there's no seafood in here. Stop saying that. Oh, no. You lying to me. Why you lying? <laughs> you really got seafood without me, babe? What the f***? Stop saying that. I did not get seafood. Okay, it smells like straight shrimp in here. It smells like straight shrimp. 
I know you got me a to-go box or something. What's going on? <laughs> Where are your pants at? Moving on, we have a guy who asked a random woman what her ideal man would be. This clip simply goes to show that women have way too much expectations nowadays. And yeah, it's just not doable. Ideal age in a man. Like 20 to 23. Okay, any. Minimum height. Six foot. I have no chance. Okay, minimum income. Let's say like 100k. At 20 years old? I don't know. But you have a 0.29% chance of finding <laughs> your ideal 0.29%. man. 0.29%? I can beat those odds. Next up, we have a woman who went on a podcast and talked about her experience in the industry now if you are a woman and you are thinking about entering this industry then yeah think about it really good before actually doing so i like i like of a lot um i enjoy posting myself it's fun i like talking to fans but um i am stepping back from doing uh yeah I've Did, so what what shifted what changed over the past few months, I've gotten, I've become really unhappy uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content or like just. Um, there's like, there's so many different factors. The first one is my parents. My parents, it took a while for them to be proud of me. They, I don't think they like what I do. And that's like hard not being able to talk to them. I, yeah, it makes sense. I can yeah. see, I personally wouldn't want my child to get in, into work. Yeah. I've been blessed. I haven't had too many bad experiences working with other people, but I think that's a rarity. I think a lot of girls in the industry do have bad experiences. And so that's why I wouldn't want my child to become yeah. involved with it. I don't have sex in my free life, but like in, like in my like actual day-to-day -day life or anything. Really? Like with normal people, no. Any sex no. that I have is on camera. And it's not that much. Like people, it's weird because the internet thinks that I'm like crazy and I'm out like fuck everyone, but I really don't have sex that often at all. Yeah, unless you're you're I, at this performing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I don't, that's the thing, I don't want it to be like that anymore. Because yeah. I think I lost track of like, sex is special and I want to be able to experience that again. Yeah, the intimacy in it mm -hmm. and not yeah. just like the performance of it. Yeah, just being bombarded, the bigger and bigger I get, the more hate I receive. And that's like, really gets to me and has yeah. been really getting to me the past few months. And also I think I've just become, I've become really desensitized to sex. Moving on, we have a girl who got angry and ended up slapping a man in his face. Now, what she did not expect was for the guy to hit her back. She really thought that she could get away with it, but yeah, she instantly regretted it. I did, I did. I did. Have you ever thought about being a ho? I have. I think about that all the time. Why? Because I consider myself a very wholesome person. But I think that's not working out for me. So I should just be home. You want to be a ho? Should I? What do you think? I mean, why not? Because, like, this is not working out for me. So I, sh I, I think yes. Yes. You want to be a ho? Yes. She belongs to the street. Moving on, we have a man who cheated on his wife and after he got caught, he started crying and begging on social media. It's honestly really simple. You simply shouldn't have cheated on her and yeah, this would have never happened. Please talk to me. Please. Why are you shutting me out? This is our family. This is our life. And you're doing it over text message. Please talk to me. Please, you're ruining our family. I'm trying my hardest to make us work and be good again. Please talk to me, please. Are you more flattered or annoyed when a man approaches you? Annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> uh, it depends. Like if they're coming up to me to, I don't know, say something nice and I'm gonna be flattered. But if they're coming up to me and saying like, rude things and just like flirting really awkwardly then I'm gonna be annoyed. It's situational. Yeah, depends. I think so. Annoyed. Um, I'm definitely annoyed. annoyed. Why is that? 
because they don't know how to approach people. Yeah. Would you say that the majority of men who approach you catcall or are respectful? Oh God, I mean, it's a mix of both. Yeah, I just honestly. got catcalled like five minutes ago, so it's like a good mix of both. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.